If you're looking for a slim, super bright keychain light, check this out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Just picked this up. It's the Woobin G2 Mini Keychain Flashlight. Comes in this little plastic case here. I am super excited about checking this out because it wasn't just like a standard flashlight. It had some unique design features here. So I wanted to quick check it out. What we get here is a very short USB to USB-C cable for charging it up, which is nice. We also get this little clip here. So you could clip it to your shirt, your hat, all of that. And then right here, we have the keychain flashlight. And as you can see, it's a little bit different. It's not just your barrel cylindrical flashlight. In fact, it's got a nice form factor. It's kind of cool. It's like anodized aluminum. It feels great in the hand. I mean, it's not super heavy, but it's got a little weight, which density always conveys quality. And you can see here, this is in blue, but you can absolutely get these in different colors. I actually picked one up in green too. I was excited about checking that out. And now I want to take you on a little tour of this because it's really interesting. First of all, I want to look at the keychain end here. You can see we have a little keychain loop right there. So you can hang this on your keychain. But what I want to show you is this piece will come off. So if I twist this counterclockwise, it will kind of cam off, right? And so that's really nice because... And that's really nice. Why? Because it's really easy to remove from your keychain when you need it. But I also want to show you... There's a magnet right in there. So you can attach things to this or this to things and just have it stay in place, which is really nice. And then to put this back on, you would just, just kind of center it like this and then twist it clockwise to lock it back on. So it's that easy to remove and then put back on your keychain, which I really love. That's a really cool little feature there. Now on this end, what we have is a little rubber cover showing hiding and protecting that USB port right there. So you can plug that in charge it up right there. And then we have a power button right here. So if I just go ahead and hit that, hold it down, that light is on. Now I want to show you here, if I just keep tapping it. Now I want to show you here, if I turn it on and then hold it down, what we're going to do is we're going to step up through the brightness modes, low, medium, and then high, and then turbo. All right. So if I go back down to low, now if I double click this, that is like super bright from this little tiny flashlight right there. And then if I click it once, it'll go back off. And if I turn it back on, it will go back to low. And what I want to show you here is if I go back up to high and then I turn it off and now I turn it back on, it will go back to the last setting. So it has some memory there, right? All right. Pretty cool. So... Now, the last thing I want to show you here is the clip. And you can see we have these little flat indentations and a little tiny slot on both these slides. So I can take this clip here and clip it on just like this. And what makes this really cool is that if I have a shirt pocket, I can put it in like this. And I have basically kind of like a headlamp, except controlled by my body. I can even put it in on my shirt like this. And now I have a spotlight right on my body, which is really, really cool. I really dig that. So I tell you what, if you are camping and you need to have your hands free and you don't have your headlamp, just whip this off your keychain, out of your pocket, whatever, and clip it on wherever you can. And I also love how slim it is. That's just going to fit inside a pocket really, really comfortably, right? So is this the ultimate keychain flashlight? Well, it looks like it is, but we have to see how it works in the dark. All right, night has fallen over the compound again. It's a windy, cool evening and sun just went down. So I've got the Woobin in my pocket here. It's actually kind of hard to find because it's so small, but let's not judge it based on its size. So I'm just going to go ahead and hold the button down here, turn it on. And like I said, I think it has memory, so it should be on the lowest setting right now, which is nice for illuminating my feet, a map, reading, finding stuff in a bag in my tent, that kind of thing. So if I hold it down here, we should go up to the next level. Man, that is pretty bright. So of the four levels, generally the four levels, I caveat that just a little bit. This one is probably the one I would use, I'm guessing kind of 80% of the time. But now if I'm walking around trying to find the outhouse, I might go up one more level. And I think this one is the one that I would use, especially when you're kind of moving at speed, because look at that, I can illuminate 20 feet in front of me and have really good illumination. Illumination. And then if I go up one more, that's the bright one. Man, look at the flood on that bad boy. And you can see obviously the trees. So I actually think this might be a little too bright. This is kind of a very, very bright setting that you probably won't use a lot because if you do catch someone in their eyes with this, it's going to be probably kind of blinding for a second. But if I double click it, then we get to this turbo mode and that is like 
any tactical flashlight. I mean, that is super bright. And again, your battery life will be shortened when you're using it on this highest level here. But if you are trying to find something, illuminate something, walk with a group, walk at speed, bike, I tell you what, you could clip this onto your shirt, your hat, your bag, whatever, handlebars, and this thing is that bright. I mean, this little thing, that's the thing. I'm holding it out in front of me. Two fingers. It is super light. I can barely feel it, but you can see how stinking bright that is, man. So, hey, oh, I just heard something up there. Hawk, eagle, something like that. But lots of wildlife. And it's getting disturbed by this really, really bright woobin. So if you want to disturb some wildlife, if you want to know what wildlife is out there so that it doesn't sneak up on you, might just save your butt. Take this woobin. You can carry it anywhere. It fits in any pocket, any jacket pocket. It's got a little key ring. fits on your keychain. So pretty awesome little device. They come in different colors too, so you can find one that suits your mood. I will put links to these keychains in the description below. Peter Von Banda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.